We're here today at arguably the number one fishing destination in the world, the Great Barrier Reef. And we're out here in a four and a half meter tinny, a hundred kilometers offshore. It's a long way out here, but we've gotten the weather to be able to do it. We're gonna do the whole reef experience. We're gonna start off fishing the flats. Then we're gonna to move to trying to do yep. some top water. Oh my God, he got out of the water. He's got it. And then hopefully yep. we're gonna finish off the day doing some jigging, yes, trying to catch some different species <laughs> there as well. So we're gonna do the whole experience today. It's gonna to be a doozy. Stay tuned. Let's get after it. All right, starting off the day, as you can see, up on the flats and uh, got 150 mil ultimate squid. It's gonna be casting around some of these bombies and stuff in here. See what we can catch. It's gonna be about 7 million different species potential. Trout? That three casts in. Let's go. We got a trouty. Something you like to see. So you hit it hard, man. Like to see. Four casts, maybe? And we've got a solid uh, common trout, common coral trout. Bloody picture perfect little guy there. Obviously, on the squid. Take this out, get him in the esky, and we'll get back to casting. Now, we are going to keep a bit of a feed today, so. We get a few legal trout like that one, they're definitely going to be coming home. I think I need to up my, up my drag a bit. Oh, that's two skits. That's pretty good. Oh. I'm going to have to Oh. I'm going to have to put a I told you. I'm not sure you're ready for. What I'm about to do with the squid, man. Oh, that's scary. Chatter? Stripey. Good stripey, man. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, hey. Big stripey. I wonder how many minutes it's going to take for Ben to switch to the... Um, no. To the squid here. I reckon it'll be like maybe a couple more fish. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Have a look at that guy. Very pretty. Whoa. Into the light. Swim into the light, little trouty. <laughs> what? No, it can't be. <laughs> trout? That's just a little trouty, yeah. He had a good go of it, look for a little trout. Scoffed it. How good is flats fishing? See you, mud. See you, muddy. Oh! Get him! Oh, oh big trout, bro. Oh, oh I lost him. What are you doing? Oh, he's back on it. Oh, he's just swimming at us, bro. Or well, you got something else. Has he got any mates? Yeah, he does. Oh, it's a China. Oh. He's got a Spango on him. Oh. oh no! There's a little Chinaman. Oh, they're on it. There's a Spango. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh no! What is that? Is that a long nose? It's a long nose! I've never caught one of these before. It's all happening. You had a little China on. Yeah! That's sick, man. My first long nose emperor. Oh, I don't know, right on Come here. I was gonna get Ben to hold up the camera for us. <laughs> what do you got? 
Is it a spango? I think it's a... It's a bludger or something. Some sort of trevo. It's a bludger. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Brand new part of the reef. I've never been here ever before. We're literally just coming out exploring today. And new species, never caught before. Long nose emperor on the squid, as you see there. Super cool. Ben actually hooked a, little, a Chinaman. This guy was following it. He dropped that fish. I cast it back in and this guy was straight on it. And then, um, yeah, Ben just cast it back out and um, he's got a little bludger here. We'll show you in a second. Here we go, Benjamin. Little gold spot trevally. Absolutely smoked the stick bait there. Pretty cool. Not the most sought after species, but you're on the board. Your first fish on the reef. First fish on the reef, mate. It feels good. Get the monkey off the back, eh? That Chevalli took a sec to take off, but he took off. Yeah. Where'd he even go? I don't even know. No, he, went, he went this way, I saw him shoot off. Yeah. Literally with the squares, all I'm really doing is picking out individual bombies along these flats and just casting kind of either side of them for the most part. Just twitching and rolling the squid around them. And the fish are kind of just coming out and whacking it. Can you catch him? He had a few goes at it. Any mates? He does have mates. What is that? Little tough. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Little tusky. Not bad. Are they milkies? They're milkies, oh, bro. Nice. It's a whole, that's, that must be what those fish were with the tails. Yeah, yeah. Milkies. They won't eat anything we throw at them. Watch how cowardly they are. I might jag one. Holy Look at these fish. Big. big milkfish, yeah. Milkfish are usually pretty sizable, but yeah. We kind of just missed all the good shit. Yep. <sighs> Tree up, yeah. Oh, he's got friends, he's got friends. Coming, incoming. Big, right on him. It's a China. Cast up on that bomby. Stop it. Oh, the trap fell off. Rip. Oh no. That's right. He was undersized anyway. Oh, that was crazy. What was it? I don't know. He came from like literally the other like set of bombies and just assassinated it. Sniping. He was angry. Yep. Yeah, that was it. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Over that bomby, please. Oh, he come out the side. Yes, that is luck. Is that a trout? Trout off? <sighs> no, I don't think so. Oh. Good. oh what? It's a good this trout. is a big trout. Yeah, it is. It's a good trout. Stunning. Yes. Sheesh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's a bloody lovely trout. Great size there. Perfect kind of eating size and just a good bit of fun as well on the squid there he's actually scoffed it down pretty good that's what we like to see we're getting a few fish now it's going pretty good getting can't some numbers complain. on the board eh? can't bloody complain so many fish danger There we go, another trout. Trout yep. lord. Another legal one. Whew. Pulling them in. Just absolutely dominating on the squid. Let's do a few casts this way so it pulls the nose around a bit. Serious. Yep. Oh, oh this is not small. Uh oh. This might be a China. You're gonna have to be on me, I think. Oh, I'm on the reef. Oh. Go under me. Just go over me, bro. Yeah. This has to be a China. Oh, it's oh, a banger. Oh, you are in trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yes, it came out of the reef. My line was rubbing in the reef. How you going there, Benjamin? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I think you got a banger, unless it's the most aggressive China ever. No, oh, what is it? It's a little banger, yeah. Oh, no. Pull him. Oh, it's a gr uh, brassy. Oh, I'm in the reef heavy, bro. It's another gold spot. Oh! Jesus, that thing was big. What, is that a jack in China? I think it had to be in a China, man. Didn't feel like a GT. Absolutely destroyed me. That guy came in hot. Wow, yeah, it came out of nowhere. Yeah, so I thought it was a banger. I was watching your fish just trying to reel my line in quick. Got a little gold spot again. Bloody came out of nowhere. Eh? I was watching Bolly uh, reeling his fish in and just burning my burning my lure back in it. Absolutely smoked it. Smoked it. See you, mate. Oh, big belly pot. Big one out of five, eh? <laughs> All right, we um we dominated on the uh, white squid. We might try a little fluoro green just to spice it up a little bit. I think it was a Chinaman, a GT would have caused a bit more commotion and the fight didn't feel like a GT as well, so I'm putting my money on a Chinaman, but that's all right, can't win them all out here. You are battling some pretty hectic reef in very shallow water. It's part of the fun. There you go, a little green, Jimmy. Oh, you coward. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Didn't take long. All right. Yeah. Oh, that? Trout, I think. Oh, it's a nice trout, dude. Yeah, oh, that's probably the biggest one yet. A Have a look, see on the brag mat. Bolly's fishing, brag mat. Available on bolliesfishing.com, link in description. But, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I said mid 50s, he is 54. Oh my god, psycho. There we go, that's an absolute stud of a coral trout on the uh, ultimate squid there, a little green color. Epic, epic fish, hard fighting, and extre extremely good tasting. So I'm gonna get him in the esky. And we're gonna get back to fishing. Wasn't even filming, Ben's hooked up. What is it? Flowery, I think. Big cod. It's flowery. That's a small flowery. You're right there, champion? You go to the worst spot to pull the fish in. That's like the hardest spot. Ah! Jesus. How's that squeal? Couldn't even get me trout in the esky. Benjamin's just hooked. Nice flowery cod here. Is that your first one? Uh, I think so, yeah, it definitely is. Oh, yeah. flowery I thought it was a huge trout that come out, but still pretty cool. Oh my god. Eat it. Oh! Oh my god, how many are there? So many, dude. What are they, Trev? Stripies or some sort of... I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. That's right, yeah. There was like a fire that came out. Can't even swap my batteries over. Benjamin's hooked up again. Oh no, that's a... Um... What is that? Oh, I always forget the name of them. Can someone please tell me in the comments? I've caught a fair few of these and I always forget the name of them, but I'm sure one of you guys will be able to tell me. I think it's a... Painted sweet, sweet lip or some sort of emperor. I don't know. Someone tell me. Send him. Hey, mate. Oop. There's this guy. You want some of this, bruh? Come closer. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a fish trying to. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> It came out of his mouth and he chased it. And I just watched him eat it. It's a flowery. <laughs> I saw the squid come out of his mouth and I just he just chased it back and just engulfed it. Ooh! Solid. Ooh! Come on. <laughs> that was so cool, you should have seen that. <laughs> 
after the party. Yeah. There we go. Saw a little flowery cod there. On the squid, yet again. It's pretty sick. I might just have a couple quick casts with the big rod, eh? Spice it up a little bit. Just for a bit of fun while we're here, I'm just gonna have a quick couple casts with the um, with the uh, big stick bait here. 200 mil, top water. All right. Get him. Oh! Oh, Spangos. Oh my god, as soon as I have this out. Big Spango squad rolls through. Oh, it's my face, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, there's a whole school down there. What am I doing with this rod? <laughs> I'm putting this away. Are they still there? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, what is that thing? Look at that, they're huge. Oh, is that a massive trout? There's a big trout right there. Oh, Look, at looking that. at my squid, he's looking at my squid. Oh, that's passion fruit trout there. What the f is going on, Benjamin? Nice spango. Is that your first one? No, I've caught him before. I've caught him before. Oh my god. I'm gentle, I'm just like... Look at the tip of this jig head. Rolled it. Yeah, that's no good. Still using it. No, I wouldn't. You know, I reckon? You can straighten it out a bit. Use the snips and kind of file it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Stripey. Stripey? Yeah. Oh, there's so many fish on that bomb here. He's good stripey, man. Nice little stripey or a Spanish flag, whatever you want to call them. Cool little fish. Just the multi species on the Great Barrier Reef is um, it's something else. All right, so we bashed them on the scoop. You might mix it up, throw something a little bit different. So we've only got about half an hour max to fish on the flats before the tide runs out. So I'm going to try and spice it up a little bit while we're up here. Uh, this one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna chuck this little bad boy on, little river to sea popper, little trout color pattern. See if we can get some fish to come up on the top water. All right, here we go. First cast with the popper. See if we can get some fish to come up. Makes a lot of pop for a little popper. Obviously it's probably not gonna be as, as effective as the squid, but much cooler. I'm going over the top of you onto that shallow end where that bait is. Oh! Oh, coming. Something's on it. Oh. What? He bopped it, but didn't like. Like he ate it, but he like didn't hook up. And then he like got scared. Fish on it. Oh, oh. You got him? <laughs> Saw him and his mate. Is that a red throat? I think it's a red throat. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, come here. That's sick. Oh, big red throat, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that your first ever red throat? Yeah, first ever. What? Very cool. Three minutes of throwing the squid and. Well, he's stunning red throat here. He's going to go in the box as well, eh? We'll give him a give him a go. They're very. I've heard they're very tasty. I've never actually eaten one, but we'll give it a red hot crack. Sounds like a plan to me. A few more casts, and we've got to get out of here. 
before you get stuck. Little red throat. Coward. Alrighty. We're just about running out of time in here. The tide's dropping and um, we really don't want to get stuck here for the night. So we're going to bail. Had a lot of fun on the flat so far and it's absolutely stunning. But we're about to push out to the edge of the reef. We're going to chase um, some pelagics on top water. We've just got to make our way out of the reef first. Uh, fingers crossed we can get out of here. Otherwise we'll be here till dark. Um, we should be right there. Hopefully. <laughs> Another part of the reef is just kind of navigating through the shallows and... Yes, sir. Oh. But we're going to take our time a little bit. Have a beer. To celebrate the uh, Tinny's first trip to the reef. I'll bring these on for the ride for a little bit. Just in sight. We won't be sleeping here tonight. <laughs> we made it. We bloody made it. Yes, A bit of room to spare. We had 600, so. A couple off. Yeah, Manny. How do you guys go? Bending? So much bending. Really? Bangers in there was so psycho. We drifted like three Ks in there. Yeah, right. It was hectic. It was meant much. So we've come out of the reef now and we're just coming along some of the edges of the reef. We've just been scooting along looking for um, schools of bait basically, casting big top water at these edges, open for a GT or Spanish rackle, come up on the top and they're hopefully big, big kadoosh. Big kadoosh. Get up. Alright, so we did about a good, oh, good two hours of driving around, casting, looking for schools of bait, see if we get a fish on top water, but there just wasn't anything going on. So, made a bit of a drive, and now we're just sounding out some ground that I marked out on the chart. So, just going to see if there's any um, any fish around this area, um, and then yeah, hopefully we can find some and catch some on the jigs, that'd be pretty cool to round out the day. All right, we're almost an hour into looking around, but we just found uh, a few bits and pieces here. A bit of bait, and some, some fish at the bottom. So we're going to drive up the drift a bit and uh, set up and drop the jigs down and fingers crossed a couple of nibs. 100 gram um, jig from Neep Tackle. Just going to get that up current just a little bit. Oh, that's very bad. And I'm just going to hold a bit of pressure on the spool just to get it down there because I know there's a bit of current going on here. Yeah, there's a bit going on in the sounder. Has this been eaten? No. Yes, it has. <laughs> it's definitely not a Trevallius. You straight on? <laughs> there we go. I don't know what this is. I was on the bottom, eh? It's not overly huge. This thing is but it's not like... Have you got me? No? What is this? You're kidding. What have you got? I got a trigger fish. <laughs> I know you got a stripey. Good stripey. Well, I didn't even make it to the bottom and then this freaky looking thing eats it. Get this guy back. See you, mate. Little stripey for Ben on the jig. Alright, send him. Send him back. 
for you, mate. Something on the jig at least. Something on the board. All right, we'll try again. Just started the drift a little bit further up. Straight on. Oh, that looks good, man. I think I missed most of the stuff. That, oh, Jesus. Oh, there's so many fish down there, bro. Sound is loaded. Yep, I've got eaten on the sink. Oh, you got a Robinson, bro. Yeah, I've never caught one. I'm bending. What have I got? Nothing huge. I had a stripey as well. It's not really the fish they're after, but we're getting a couple nibs on the jig, which is nice. See you, bud. Right, go back up. <laughs> Alright, take three. Oh my gosh. Not bad, eh? Should pull a bit of drag then. Better. Yeah. You think you hook oh something in Oh, big trout. Oh, that's stunning, mate. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Oh, big shark. Oh Get him in. Woo! Look at this. Look at the colours on that ah. thing. Nice work. There we go. Have a look at that. It's bloody beautiful. Look at the colours on that guy. It's he's, epic, man. He's gorgeous, eh? Ab Stunner. Absolute stunning trout. He's going to be very tasty as well. You finally caught a trout today. I know, it's been a while, eh? <laughs> I think I've got like... you got five on me, I think, this morning. I think we got five or six this morning <laughs> in the flats, but it's Ben's first one today, but it's probably the best one today. Oh, Ooh, you're in trouble. Nothing like the speed jig up getting nibbed. Oh, you might just have a little mackerel. Just by the way, that rod loaded up, I thought it was big. Don't have to go psycho on it. There he goes. Yeah, let him run, bro. You can back the drag if you need a little bit, if it's pretty psycho. It's not, it's not, it's not super crazy. <laughs> Tail beats? I think he's hooked weird, eh? Could be turning. Hooked funny. Could be a, like a diamond or something. No, I think it's a toonie. Yeah, it's a toonie. Yeah. Little tuna. It's a little Mac tuna. <laughs> what was Getting else. folded <laughs> by a little Mac tuna. Mint, bruh. Little jelly bean. <laughs> Jeez. Little Mac tuna on the jig. You guys over in the States probably call them Benito or Benita, whatever you bloody call them, but Mac tuna here in Australia on the jig. Wow! Spearing back. See you, mate. So we're going to call it a day. We've got about a two hour run back. As I said, we were 100 kilometers out, so it's a bit of a trek. Got some fish on the flats, got some fish on the jigs. I uh, just couldn't get some fish on the top water, so I might have to save that for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. I'll see you next time. Peace!